Hey guys, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. So I started playing around with the uh, Shoyong uh, LC90 um, Smart Radio. It's a uh, medium wave FM shortwave receiver. And um, did of course a few frequencies. So like here is WWV 25 megahertz. And the reason I tuned off is to show you that it has birdie issues a lot of internal noise a lot of internal signals are actually impacting shortwave performance so when I approach that tone you're hearing is actually an internal birdie from the radio circuit going into shortwave and if you tune around you notice that there's a lot of these birdies so for example if I go on 13600 and so reception is really good when you got no birdies in the circuit but here you hear that there's a birdie on this frequency here you see it's like there's a carrier but in reality it's once again an internal birdie Look how many of them. So, this is a major problem that needs to be fixed. Once again, birdies. So, it's almost as if when you're tuning a, a frequency, so I'm going to go to Spain here. So Spain is great. But... Like I said, what is the biggest problem is if you're tuning around, you've got to hope that whatever you're going to listen to doesn't fall on a birdie frequency. And that's the sad thing, because a lot of the signals that I was trying to tune were on, uh, unfortunately, mixed in with internal birdies from the receiver. So this is probably a question of a shielding issue. Now, this is on telescopic antenna, and I will do the same test and see if, when I put the external antenna, if it fixes the problem. Maybe with an external antenna, it's not as bad of a problem. But right now, with telescopic, this already makes it a tough choice for shortwave radio. Uh, I saw this uh, guy that uh, says the best shortwave radio ever. Obviously, he doesn't know what a shortwave radio is all about because it's not the best shortwave radio ever. But it is an interesting package. And I'll continue playing around with it. And of course, uh, throughout the, the day today, I'll have some videos and I'll uh, give out my review uh, soon. But uh, already, if you're planning on one of these, think about the fact that there's tons of birdies uh, gen generated by the circuit that will block um, a lot of the signals they're trying to hear with a tone or, you know, it's kind of sad for that. Because if it wasn't for that, and to now, I find that the receiver's sensitivity is actually not bad. It receives well even weaker signals. Um, it's just a question of birdies that needs to be fixed. So that's my first observation of the uh, Shoyang LC90. More to come. Uh, something nostalgic happened a little earlier because I tried the internet radio and I tuned Radio Australia's uh, online feed, which was kind of interesting because it's a portable radio and you hear this is Radio Australia and you're, it's like it brings you back a little bit in time. So more to come on the uh, receiver. Hope you enjoy the comments I have. Uh, this radio, by the way, is at version 4.4 and it's the latest firmware available. It has single sideband in it and I haven't tried it yet, but we'll try it. So uh, that's going to be fun also to check out.